Hey there, I'm Michael. Take a seat and I'm going to teach you how to play Multi-Universum by Board and Dice. Set up the game, start by taking all the action cards and deal out five as the discard pile. Then deal three to each player and each player will need to pick a lab colour and take the corresponding coloured card and corresponding coloured meeple. They'll then place that on the corresponding transmitter cards, which you'll lay out. So here we have red and blue. If we had players as white, green or yellow, they would sit on those cards. The final thing to do is to create the portal stacks. And each one of these stacks will contain a single tool card, two two tool cards and one free tool card. Once you've dealt those into piles of five you'll then shuffle them and sit them as the stack. You're then ready to begin playing and the aim of the game is to have the most points at the end of the game. You'll get points in one of two ways both of which revolve around collecting these portal cards under your lab and I'll explain how you do that shortly. You'll get the points as denoted in the light bulb, that's instant points that those are worth. You'll also get points for set collection of these symbols here and you can see this dotted line around the edge that indicates how common that symbol is in the deck. So if there's three lines there's three versions of that symbol in the deck. This one with one there's only one. Sets of five symbols that are all different will get you nine points. If you have two cards of the same symbol, such as these two water drops here, then that would give you four points at the end of the game. If you had all three of the water drops, that's another nine points. Now it's important to note, if you use a card for a set of three, you can't also use it for a set of five unique. And the game will end as soon as two stacks are empty of cards. You'll randomly determine your first player and they'll start the game taking three actions. All the actions you can perform in this game revolve around playing your cards. What your cards can do depends on the location you're at. At any location, you can play it for the bit on the right here. That is a tool. So as one action, you can play a card as a tool. Tools are important as you'll use them to close portals, which I'll talk about shortly. As well as this, you can always scrap it. Scrapping a card means you put it in the discards and you draw a replacement. But that is one of your free actions for the turn used. The other things you can do with these cards will depend on the location you're at. So I'm the blue player here, I'm at location number four, which is the blue location. So I can only use these cards for the blue location actions. Now the actions are always the same on all the cards, but which location they are at differs. So at the moment, if I wanted to close a portal, I couldn't because that is this swirly portal icon here and there is none at four. The only options I have are the transmitter or move. So let's talk about what all the different actions are. So we'll start with move. Move simply means you take your meeple and you move it to one of the other transmitters. And it doesn't matter if there are other people there, you just go, hello, I'm your friend, and it's all fine. Also, you don't have to move to an adjacent transmitter, you can move to any transmitter. Obviously, once you've moved, so if I move to number 5 here, using this card, I then play that card to the discard, that's one of my actions gone. Now, I'm no longer looking at the transmitter 4 location actions, I'm looking at the number 5s. So here, the options I would have with these two cards, is I can draw cards, so I would simply draw two cards into my hand using this power here. Or I could use the other card to recycle. Recycle means I get to take any one card out of the discard pile and add it to my hand. The other actions which I haven't been able to do. So let's first 
talk about close portal. So the portal you can close is dependent on the location you're at. So if I am at location four here, I can close the top portal in location four. But to do this, I must have tools and the tools must match these symbols on the card. If I have those tools, so let's see if we can find, well, there's one of them, microchippy there, and there's a microscope. So if I had those tools ready underneath my card, I could discard those tools to close this portal if I played a portal close card as my action. Any closed portals will go and sit under the left hand side of your lab card here and that will be points for the end of the game. It's important to note that you don't want to put too many tools under your tool side as these will be minus points at the end of the game if they're unused. The other action that we've not talked about is the transmitter action. This depends on which location you are at. Transmitter 1 will allow you to rearrange the cards in any one portal stack. Transmitter 2 allows you to draw three cards and then discard two cards. The two cards discarded can be any from your hand, not just from the ones you drew. Portal 3 allows you to swap the top two portal cards from any two portal stacks. And the Portal 4 power means that you take the top card of, a of all Portal stacks and you put it on the bottom. And finally, the Portal, the Transmitter 5 power means that you take a card that you've played for its ability this turn and turn it into a tool. Once you've played your free actions, which will mean using your cards, you then draw your hand back up to free cards and play passes to the next player. You continue playing like this until two stacks of portals have run empty of cards. At that point it is the end of the game. Once the game ends you'll total up all your portal cards, what points they give you and minus one point for each unused tool. Whoever has the most points wins the game. And that is how you play multi universum by Board and Dice. Do you hope you've enjoyed this video? If you have, please do check out the rest of the videos as well as subscribing and sharing the channel. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.